Good morning. It's time for the quiz. It's Wednesday, and that means I'm going to go through questions that I have not looked at because I'm me. And I'm going to hopefully get a whole bunch of answers from you guys. So let's see how we go. We did all right last week, um, though it wasn't a deer for our usual. No, was it? No, no, it wasn't the worst week we've had. Um, it was pretty good. So let's see if we can keep that going. Let's see if we can show you the forms or what's for. Um, or what for? I don't actually know. Um, so here we go. Standard procedure by now. I'm going to look at the screen and uh, attempt to read the questions to you. And already I can see some of the themes we're going to be talking about. Um, we've got the clap that was weirdly timed. And we've got uh, the stuff from Myanmar. We've got... A si I, okay, that's it. That's all I know from the news. So let's go. Question one. Under new rules that come into force on February the 15th. Ooh, after Valentine's Day, the beginning of half term. People from high-risk countries will have to quarantine in hotels for how many nights to help control the spread of COVID-19 in the United Kingdom? And it's interesting, that date keeps getting pushed back. It was supposed to have been done in January. Is it 10 nights, 20 nights, or 30 nights? There aren't 40 nights, unfortunately. Uh, question two. According to recent leaks from a Spanish newspaper, who has the biggest sports contract in history with a four-year deal worth a whopping 675 million US dollars, equivalent to 492 million pounds? Is it A, Lionel Messi, B, LeBron James, or C, Conor McGregor? I only recognise one of those names. Question three. I'm not telling you which. Which was Russian political opposition leader, or why was Russian political opposition leader, which was, <laughs> Alexei Navalny, in the news again last week? A. He said he faked his recent poisoning event. B. He has announced he's moving to Britain. Or C. He was sentenced to over three years in prison for, you know, being him. Question four. Which team celebrated this significant rugby victory at the weekend? Is it A. France, B. Angleterre, or C. Uh, Scotland. I don't know that in French. I should know that in French. I don't. Question five. According to a recent Bloomberg report, which country has been identified as having the best response to the COVID-19 pandemic? Is it A, New Zealand, B, Finland, or C, the United Kingdom? Huh. Question six. What happened to SpaceX's Starship prototype during the latest test flight? A. It exploded on launch. B. A fully successful flight. Or C. It crashed on landing. I honestly don't. I should know this, but I don't. It's very exciting. Question 7. Tennis Australia said they received some odd requests from players quarantining ahead of the Australian Open. Which of the following was not requested by one of the players? Was it A. A daily bucket of KFC? B. A kitten? Or C. A private house with a tennis court? Really? Question 8. In which country... Oops. In which country are demonstrations occurring about the arrest of this woman? I think I gave you the answer when I was talking about the front cover. Is it A, Thailand, B, Vietnam, or C, Myanmar? Um, never mind. Question 9. Protests in India have gained high-profile celebrity support, including pop star Rihanna and climate activist Greta Thunberg. Who are the protesters? I think we did this last week. Is it A, farmers, B, teachers, or C, healthcare workers? I'm sure we did that last week. Question 10. The owner of Cadbury is set to return more of its dairy milk chocolate production back to its historic factory in which village of the UK? Is it A. Bourneville in Birmingham? Is it B. Carrow in Norwich? Or is it C. Branston in Burton-upon-Trent? Seriously, you should be able to work that one out. Question 11. In which sport did the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Kansas City Chiefs meet in the championship game of the season? Why are we so obsessed with American stuff? Anyway, is it A, baseball, which is like cricket but without stumps, B, basketball, it's like netball I guess, but for men, or C, American football, which is rugby for cowards? Question 12. Which Australian city is currently hosting a major sporting event at this venue? Is it Perth, Melbourne or Sydney? I actually don't know. Question 13. Switzerland is celebrating an anniversary of when women gained the right to vote. In what year were women permitted to vote in Switzerland? Is it A. 1871, B. 1921 or C. 1971? I should know the answer to this, and it pains me to tell you that I literally don't know. Question 14. Who was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom before Boris Johnson? Ah, that's a fun one. 
Full marks if you get, uh, obviously, extra marks if you get uh, the middle of, her, of their name. Question 15. Which of the following will people attending the Tokyo Olympics be discouraged from doing? A. Clapping. B. Singing. Or C. Holding flags. Assuming it goes ahead. The polls say in Japan they really don't want this to happen. Question 16. Which African country has this flag? Again, I feel like I should know, but I don't. The eagle should be a giveaway. I think I do know. Question 17. Which football club has been denied entry to Germany, meaning it's unable to play its Champions League match against RB Leipzig? RB? RB? RB Leipzig. Is it A. Liverpool? B. Manchester United? Or C. New Assel? I guess because, you know, we're a plague island and such, I can see why they might be denied entry to other countries. Question 18. Which of the following is the capital of Canada? A. There's a lot of Canadian questions. Have they got a Canadian writer on their staff or something? Anyway, Reese, Toby, you quids in. Is it Montreal, Ottawa, or Toronto? I actually don't know the answer. I used to know the answer, but then I've second-guessed myself so many times I've forgotten. Question 19. Which global toy brand is releasing a range of toys to help visually impaired children with learning? Is it A. Barbie, B. Hot Wheels, ooh, ooh, someone should know that, or C, Lego. If it's Hot Wheels, I guarantee you one of you will know. And question 20, the clap. Who is being honoured this week by people around the country? Um, yet, no, see, this is an interesting one. Uh, originally, it had been organised by a grassroots campaign, and they argued for a 6pm start. The government then announced a 5pm start, thus causing confusion and trying to gazump the original organisers. Many people decided not to take part on that basis, which is a shame. Um, also, I'm not sure what difference clapping actually makes. You want to make a difference, maybe do something for that person that they would have appreciated. And a round of applause, I don't think would have been it. I'm just saying. Just saying. Um, but nevertheless, it is interesting, and it's certainly an important event. So who was it? And that is worth remembering. Those are the 20 questions. We shall, of course, be doing the answers as usual on Friday. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, I hope, for our drop-in form session, and uh, we'll see how we go then. Thank you, if you have been, for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.